श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम हरि ओम तत्सत भज गोविंद श्लोका नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर मयि चान्यत्रै को विष्णु व्यर्थ कुप्यसी मयि सहिष्णु भव सर्वत्रचय चिराद्यदि विष्णु भज गोविंद भज गोविंद गोविंद भज मूढ़मते इन द लास्ट सत्संग वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अप टू दिस श्लोका जस्ट वी रिकलेक्ट द जिस्ट ऑफ द श्लोका एंड विल गो फर्दर टू द नेक्स्ट टुडे योर इन दिस श्लोका द आथर सेज दैट why you see the differences whenever you see the differences you will bound to become fearful when there is a fear that is called hell wherever there is a fear that is called hell about the hell in the next shloka it will come so twai mai cha anyatra in me in fact my dear in me in you in every thing everywhere only the vishnu is uh, pervaded and uh, spread it only the vishnu vishnu means the truth only one truth is established uh, spreaded in everywhere if that is the case why you Uh, become so angry about me and about others and about so many other things on whom you you can become angry everywhere the same lord is existing everywhere there is atma only existing so not knowing this sarvatratvam if you want to attain the vishnutvam vishnutvam means here moksham if you want to attain the brahma gnanam if you want to realize that you are the brahman what you have to do then be a equanimous minded person bhava samachittah sarvatra in every occasion uh, uh, in, in about everybody deshatah in all the circumstances in all the places with everything you try to see the samatvam so if you don't see that samatvam then uh, you will suffer so here the instruction is vanchasi uh, adi if you are uh, really want to get the moksha then you try for that vanchasi chirat vishnu so there is one uh, example in our childhood most of us have seen the different biscuits which comes in the <coughs> different <coughs> animal forms some are like elephant some are like a horse some are like a cat hmm? so the mother distributed these uh, biscuits to her two three children and then they all saw that and uh, they are started one some are feeling so happy because he likes the lion so he got the lion somebody is happy because he wants to get the elephant he got the elephant but one boy he didn't like what he got maybe that is the cat or rat then uh, he will uh, go and complain to his mother <clears throat> oh no no i want uh, also 
uh, this thing, that thing, like that. I like that biscuit, this biscuit. What mothers will mother will tell? Hmm? Mother will tell. See, my dear child, all the biscuits are made up of same the uh, content, and all of them are equally sweet. Only the shape is different. So by saying, seeing the shape, and you give the name to that shape, and you are crying and worrying about it. But mother knows this. Mother have got this knowledge, but not the child. Same way, the gyanis, the mahatmas have this knowledge of the seeing oneness everywhere, but not the ignorant people. So if you also want to, then the crying, the fighting, the comparison, all will disappear. The all suffering of the human beings is particularly the mental suffering. Because of this only, either comparison, either competing, uh, and giving the importance to the only, the nama rupa, the outer periphery. So why you give the importance to the external things? See the essence. Like that, the message given here. <coughs> Now, if you apply this principle in the life, what is the benefit? You will be free from the anger. Not only that, you will become free from the greediness. So, all the inner enemies which are already hiding and sitting there, they will become more and more strong. We always keep our attention on our inner climate of the mind not the outer uh, situations and the, the external objects and the things. External objects and things uh, go in their own way. We have no control on them. But I can control my mind. I can check my mind inner climate, whether I am overpowered by the Kama, Krodha, Loha, Moha, Mada, Masarya. These are the six real enemies. So, after giving this particular message, here, why all these kind of uh, the Vedams will come? Because you are seeing the differences. You are not seeing the essence. In Panchadashi, a Prakarana Grantha, which is uh, uh, written by Vidyaranya Swami, very beautifully he says that, the question, the, the questions will arise only in the duality. So then there uh, should be some answers. But uh, questions keep on crop up. And we cannot satisfy everybody's question uh, with the answer. And everybody cannot be satisfied. So yeah, each one will give different answer to the same question. Why all this? Because we have not seen the essence of it. If you see the essence, so not seeing the essence is called Dvaita Bhavam. Seeing the essence is called Advaita Bhavam. Here that uh, author Vidyarana Swami gives nice shloka. Chodhyam va pariharo va Kriyatam Dvaita Bhashayam. Either this question and uh, answer, getting answer, seeking for answer the question, all this can be applied and done in the duality, in the multiplicity. But in Advaita Bhashaya Chodhyam Nastina Pitaduttaram. Once the person knows the essence is one, and where is the question of question about anything? So all questions comes because not knowing the one essence. So Advaita Bhashaya, in only in the non-dual knowledge alone, there is no question. So then where is the question of the reply? 
if the question itself is not there, then naturally there is no need of any answer. In the spiritual path, whether we are matured, whether you are attained the knowledge, whether you are established in the knowledge, what is the measurement, what is the scale through which we can measure it or we can find out what is the gadget. As long as you have still getting any doubt in your mind about anything, then you are not established in the knowledge. You are not attained the Shuddha Gnanam. You are not recognized that Eka was to the essence. Simple. As long as you are getting any question, question about what? Generally about three things. One is a question about myself. Question about the world. The questions about the God. Jeeva Jagat Ishwara. So related to these three things, if you get any doubt, any doubt, whether it is a small doubt or big doubt or any one single doubt, question then you are far away from the reality. That means you are far away from that Eka Vastu. You are far from far away from the your own self. All the questions can dissolve. Remember, questions cannot be solved. No need not to be solved also. But they cannot dissolve. Where how it is possible? Only in the Advaita Bhavana, by recognizing that one, your essential nature, the self, then all the questions will dissolve, dissolve, disappear, they disappear, they are not uh, uh, full, but they are not answered, they were not there, all the questions are rubbish, all the questions are relate, related to the relative reality, in relative reality, there is no end for the questions. That's why the modern science can go on quest and question and enquire, 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 enquire. How long you will enquire, how much you can enquire, how deep, how far you can enquire. But then stagnation will come, vexation will come, confusion will come, puzzle. You can't understand because this is a mithya. The relative world is a mithya which is not there, you want to do research on it? This is what Vedanta Advaita Gnanam tells. You are unnecessarily wasting the time and spending the energy and the mind, everything, uh, doing uh, to find out, to discover, which is not there, which is not real. Not there means uh, which is mithya. It appears as it is there, but in enquiry, there is no substance in it. Substantially, it is not there. Then where it ends? No, it never ends. It keep on continue like that, like that. And you keep on break your head and you keep on have the question. You will become a questionable personality. <laughs> Finally, you will question why God is like this, why world is like that, why people are like this. There is no meaning, there is no answer for this. For example, in sleep, you, before going to sleep, you will get different dreams. Yes? Different dreams. You now, after you wake up, you question yourself. Sometimes you will question yourself, why this kind of dream came? What is that I have seen in the dream? So, you may ask 100 questions, why and how, and, but there is any answer, you will get any correct answer for it. And you won't bother also to get the answer, because you know very well after you wake up that everything is uh, illusion, it is not there, mithya. Is not there, just appear. It is only an appearance without any substantiality. So, this is the 
inner meaning of this particular shloka 24 now let us enter into the 25th shloka chaitra mitre putre bandhav ma kuru yatram vigraha sandhav sarvasmin api pashyatmanam sarvatro sruja bheda gnanam bhaj govindam bhaj govindam govindam bhaj mudhamate the same kind of thought which we have seen just now in the previous shloka the differences bhedam vitiyadvai bhayam bhavati upanishad says wherever there is two wherever there is a vision of duality then there is that bound to be a fear that bound to be fear but where there is a advaita where there is no duality advaita okay abhayam bhavati dvitiyat bhayam bhavati advaita abhayam bhavati the fearlessness will come so you want to be fearful all the time you want to uh, suffer with that fear i told just now no here more elaboration will come the another name for the fear is hell that may be a, any kind of fear or another name for the hell is the suspicion another name for the sandeham samshayam doubt is a hell hell means what where the mind is under constant fear psychosis where the mind is constantly under the suspicion where the mind constantly under the insecurity feeling that is called hell so here in this particular shloka so same that kind of don't see the differences in spite of the differences may appear at the external periphery but don't get lost in those differences don't give importance to them so let us see general meaning of this shloka some are my shatru enemies mitre and some are my friends and the, these are my children putre and bandhav that means from the external the distant persons people enemies some are my friends some are my dear friends close friends and this kind of enmity or proximity the friendship or enmity or the attachment with the family people in the family also some will have more attachment to some people sometimes the father is more attached to the girl and uh, our mother mother got attached more to the girl or boy son why this kind of uh, putre mitra bandho in the relatives also what he says is his example etc why you see this uh, difference don't create this kind of bheda bhava ma kuru yatnam never justify or never allow to keep on increase this kind of vigraha and sandhav vigraha sandhav is also a dual case like bandhav it is nothing but the another word for the raga and dvesha vigraha means dvesha sandhav means raga or vigraha sandhav means shatrav mitre so friendship friendshipness and enmity so don't do that 
maakuru never give importance never uh, encourage then how they can go simply like that i'm habituated to look like that to create the enemies are the friends and keep on criticize see even in your family member family functions when a group of people gather all are belong to the different you uh, know same families like that relatives but there also again people will uh, sit and discuss or talk in the two groups or three groups and gradually the uh, you know differences are they will keep on uh, com complaint about some people talk ill about the others uh, like this and uh, some think that they not uh, uh, treated well they are not looked after us when we went they even not received well so why you are unnecessarily uh, i think uh, they don't like us why you think who asked you to think unnecessarily so you think simply whether it is real or not so all this mental imagination and creation you imagine and so many ways like this and then who is the ultimate sufferer you are the sufferer not anybody so vigraha sandho ma kuru in this way never put uh, give importance yatna means here don't try don't give importance don't justify your likes and dislikes that is the meaning don't justify your raga dvesha don't justify your uh, uh, feeling of uh, close and uh, enmity and proximity so never try for that never justify never give space to it makuru yatnam vigraha sand okay sir you are telling so easily like that but uh, we feel that it is very difficult to apply in life what to do the method is if you want to uh, apply this uh, knowledge this particular principle in your life you know what we have to do you have to only one thing to get it of all the differences not at all giving any importance to the nama rupa then you have to see the essence the same thought there i have given example of biscuit and the different forms of the names of the biscuit but essence is same flour same sugar same thing here what he says sarvasmin api pashya atmanam so by seeing the atma in everything in every body mother in in the living beings first in every body pashya atmanam sarvasmin that is the only medicine that is the only way that is only the method that means what in you in other everybody whom you are claiming now my dear and my close my people my things like and are they are my enemies i hate him i hate her all these are you are seeing the uh, giving the importance to the swabhava and you forgot in this swarupa so start see the swarupa swarupa wise essentially we are all made up of same thing if you see physically also we are all made up of the same pancha mahabhutas same seven constituents of the internal parts the blood bone and skin mm, so Uh, synovial fluids all this kind of uh, rakta mamsa hmm? everything so same the material used for these bodies are all same we are all sharing and living in this world with the same pancha mahabhutas no difference but why this external differences one is uh, uh, a uh, beautiful one is ugly one is uh, uh, women one, another is a man some are animals all this yeah 
we say variety variety of combinations as we make with the same basin powder hmm, that uh, hmm, doll powder used for the laddu used for the muruku huh? and so many things are the idli batter same idli batter used for the dosha idli utappam appam uh, so many things are done the essentially it is one and the same so see that and sarvatra by all means from all angles from all the respects in what veda agnanam this veda is because of the ignorance agnanam that you put sruja give it up give it for good once for all give it up like a hot potato drop it like a hot potato because that is agnana that is the cause of your suffering that is the cause of your misery so sarvatra means always everywhere and with everything thus again reshataha kalataha vastutaha don't see the differences this bhedam this bhedam is the bheda darshanam only advaita darshanam only seeing the multiplicity is the only cause for the samsara and dukkha so by being in the samsara by living in this uh, uh, pluralistic body made up of the combinations many but still the inner consciousness the essence by which this body is propelled this pancha pancha gnanendriyas pancha karmendriyas pancha pranas are all active because of what so many bulbs in this hall and the fan and everything all are propelled by functioning because of what power behind them electricity and there are many electricities fan electricity bulb electricity hmm? a washing machine electricity no electricity is one but this gadget is different and its function is different same way here even though bodies are different animal bodies human bodies and later we will extend it to the not only the living beings and non living things also or semi living uh, semi uh, life uh, the um, animal the plant kingdom also everything is uh, supported by the one supreme reality that is atma atma word the definition given in many ways in the shastra that apunoti which is occupied pervaded everything everywhere which every, which supports everything and which keeps everything within it so which expresses everything from within it so on which by which in which this entire nama rupa prapancha is supported that is called adhisthana otherwise that you recognize you yourself is that and that one self is the one it is only all pervading consciousness sarvasmin api pasya atmanam so sarvatra always in all the uh, situations with everything usruja give it up give it up this usruja is uh, one small episode story once there was a monkey the monkey saw uh, in one shop the groundnuts are kept in a bottle but bottle neck was uh, very narrow 
and uh, the monkey wants to take and eat those groundnuts or peanuts. And when that shopkeeper is uh, not looking, is uh, doing some other work, the monkey from the top roof saw and came down and kept the hand in that narrow necked bottle. And uh, after that, it catched uh, some of the peanuts, whatever the capacity in her hand, in that in her hand, it hold it like this. Then when the monkey uh, holded the peanuts inside the bottle, the size of the hand increased. Before that, the hand is went like this. But now after it catched the peanuts, the hand size increased. Now it is not able to bring the hand out. Then the shopkeeper came and saw. He took a stick and started giving nicely uh, some beads to the monkey. The monkey is crying and jumping. And uh, uh, it, it is just not able to think what to do. But the shopkeeper is giving a nice beads. Then it clicked in her mind, let me leave the hand. If it is thought of immediately, unless if it leave the peanuts, the hand cannot come out easily. And that is the only the way to escape. Here also, Utsruja means give it up. If the monkey, the monkey has given it up on the first beat itself, it need not to uh, receive so many beads from that person. But it thought of very late. Same way, in the life, if you want to uh, avoid the beatings and the uh, uh, attacks on you by this world, by the people, by the incidents, by the situations, before they are all coming and uh, poaching on you, you drop them. You drop them. The dropping is uh, mentally, not physically. Please understand. Mental renunciation is very important. That is called real sannyasa. Externally, physically, you may possess, you need to possess few things. You cannot give up everything. But mentally, you can be detached. How is it possible? By attaching to the essence, the inner core, <coughs> the substratum. That is what the message given here. <coughs> now, to support this thought, let us uh, ponder on few more points. One, Shastra tells about the, technically, we are not going to discuss everything, but just I am giving the idea. Five kinds of differences or three kinds of differences. Some places, some books, uh, some Shastra, they will discuss about the three. Then, or otherwise we can look into the five aspects also. Now, first I will tell the three and then I will tell about the five. Three. Sajatiya, Vijatiya, Swagata Bheda. See, this Atma is free from the any difference, no Bheda metal, Abheda Vastu. What are the Vedas? There is no uh, mutual Sajati Bhedam. That means, uh, as like uh, differences in the human beings itself, lot of differences are Sajati only. But he is a Tamilian, I am a uh, Malayali, or uh, I am a man, she is woman, I am a Brahmin. So, these differences, Sajatiya, Vedas are there. He is tall, I am short, he is fat, I am also very, very fat. So, Sajatiya Vedam. And then Vijatiya Vedam, I am a human being, but my pet dog is a dog. So, that Jati is different. That is the animal species, Jati, and like a Vruksha Jati. So, Jati Bhedam and Swagata Bhedam, even though I want myself body, I am, in this body again, there are a lot of differences. 
head is not like the legs legs are not like the hands hands are not like the eyes eyes are not like the nose swagata bhedam internal uh, differences in atma which we are telling about the ekam if you want to if you want to get it off from the this uh, torture suffering of the bheda bhayam you have to come to the abheda vastu abheda vastu is free in what way sajatiya bheda vijatiya bheda swagata bheda rahita vastu is called atma okay these are technical topics a lot uh, should be analyzed shastra in many places uh, when we study we will analyze then another way of uh, dividing them into five is jiva jiva bheda okay now generally jiva i am one jiva okay we consider no i am a soul after the body dies the jiva goes so i am one jiva and my wife is another jiva my son is another jiva so each one is a jiva so jiva jiva bhedam is there okay in ignorance huh? not real life jiva jiva bhedam then that way one body is dying one jiva is going one jiva is still continuing this is all again in the ignorance according to each person's previous janmas karma he lives how long he has to live and uh, how to live how, what are the um, pleasures and pains he has to undergo that differs to body to body in that particular inner subtle body but actually subtle bodies are looks like many but the subtle body is because of what because of what the subtle bodies are functioning because of what many reflections are appearing in the many buckets of water because of what many ornaments are appearing as a different in name and form because of one sun who is in the sky he is reflecting in all the many buckets of water same way these subtle bodies are all reflections but they are not real but reality is the only one sun same way the gold is real but all these uh, names and forms of the ornaments are not real the many waves are not real but water is real so water is the essence gold is the essence atma is the essence of all this uh, appearing world it is only appearing it, they are not real vacharambhanam vikaro namadheyam mrityukayeva satyam that means there is a nama rupas are only a word there is no any reality to the nama rupa instead of calling you the essence as the gold you are calling like a bangle you are calling as a ring and you say golden ring then means essence you are giving the adjective to the essence and you are giving the reality to the non essence nama rupa this is uh, but uh, in the transactions we will talk like that only but it is not real then what it, what is real bangly gold chainy gold gold is important but which looks like in a chain form gold is important which looks in a bangle form understood words are simple looks but when you understand these examples then you will understand so jiva jiva bheda then jada jada bheda okay jada means uh, for the timing which is not non uh, non living beings jada jada bheda is it in my uh, town in my place the land is different in your place the land is different the cost is different jada jada bheda then jiva jada bheda okay 
even though the jiva is residing in this uh, jada vastu, this body is jadam in fact. But the reflection consciousness is a conscious factor. But both are actually this jiva and uh, this physical jada body, both are not real. So jiva jada bheda, jiva ishvara bheda, uh, jiva um, yeah, alpicent, alpipotent, and alpi uh, hmm, pervaded. But God, Ishwara is omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient. So then last fifth one is uh, Ishwara Jagat Bheda. All these Bhedas are in Advaita philosophy, in Gnana, null and wide. There is no any place to them. It is as simple as again the same example. In dream, you may see hundreds and thousands of different things. You yourself feel yourself in a different, different forms. So what? Who came to know the dream? Who is alive and a living factor? A shining factor who is the supporting factor of the dream that consciousness atma is nothing to do with the the dream things or waking things or emptiness so consciousness beyond the waking experiences and the dream experiences and the no experience state of deep sleep also. The consciousness is free from all these three different experiences. These three are the three different experiences. But I am, I exist. It is the pure, it is not a, as, unlike the experience of the something I experience through the mind. No. It is the ever present fact, ever present the awareness, is awareness, pure awareness. Then after that, few more things also, how to get out of these differences and Vedas and recognizing the Atma. In many places, Bhagavad Gita also, why I am telling, uh, uh, referring all these things means, so you will get uh, more and more support for this particular thought. Bhagavad Gita is written long ago, told by Lord himself. Rajagoyandam in them written later. So in Bhagavad Gita, two, three places, I just remind, one place Bhagavan said, Aham Atma Guda Kesha. Sarva Bhuta Shayastitaha. Bhagavan using their, uh, their two words, aham, but that aham is atma. Here also, when I say non, I am, I am is really refers to the atma. But by mistake, ignorance, I uh, consider I means I am, means I am the body. I am saying. I am doing, I am enjoying. No, body is enjoying, body is doing, body is claiming. So, not remembering that. So, aham atma, when this aham word, aham word we are all using, not only Bhagavan Krishna is telling, because he is the Lord. If he is a Lord and he says, what benefit I will get? I should apply the same word aham atma. Okay, Lord said. A guda kesha arjuna sarva bhuta That aham atma only in every living being. Absolutely no difference. Very difficult to digest. But one day or other we have to digest. There is no other way. Then aham adhishcha mad aham adhishcha madhyancha. Bhutanam anta evacham, even before, before these uh, different jivas bodies comes also, I am only there, aham. And uh, these bodies are appearing 
that time also aham atma is there and these bodies will disappear but atma will continue so in the beginning in the middle in afterwards also i was i i i i, I, I am and i will be the same only atma not never changes atma never changes nirvikara okay so then same way bhagavan says in gita again kshetra gnam chapi mam vidhi sarva kshetreshu bharatam kshetra gnam bhagavan using another word for atma atma the another name synonym is the kshetra gna kshetram means the matter body jadam and but who is knowing this body who is uh, uh, residing in this body okay in a residence there is a resident living so that kshetra gnam who knows the kshetram so kshetra gnam chapi mam vidhi sarva kshetreshu know that in every body kshetra means here field every place every body i am only vidhi know that so in this way then in one other shloka also bhagavan says sarva bhutas tamatmanam sarva bhutani shatmani in all the living beings the atma is there all the living beings are in the atma and atma is in all the living beings both again both ways if you see atma only in everything and everything is in atma only so finally atma only ekameva only means eva in this way ikshate yoga yuktaatma sarvatra samadarshanah whoever able to see in this way the yoga yuktaatma well understood well controlled his senses and mind well trained his mind well cultured his mind well focused his mind in the teaching of the scriptures yoga yuktaatma means that is the meaning then what is his understanding final conclusion sarvatra samadarshanah this sarva should be uh, elongated sarvatra samadarshanah now when that samadarshanam comes where is the question of suffering where is the question of competition comparing uh, comparison and cutthroat fear and all that it's all because of ignorance so this is the very beautiful explanation in those shlokas not only that i will go with uh, one or two more examples also which comes in the uh, upanishads same kind of shloka okay because being it is a very important statement sarvasmin api pashya atmanam what it mean this is the ultimate gist of the entire vedanta and vedas and the shastra see everywhere recognize everywhere everything in everything in everywhere and always the only one consciousness principle sat chit anandam but being it is so important i should refer some of those shlokas which gives more and more clarity in the isha vasha upanishad there are two shlokas comes one after another next yastu sarvani bhutani atmanyevanu pashyati sarva bhutastam atmanam tato na vijugupsate who ever see able to see the one atma and just to sarvani bhutani atmaneva in everywhere atma alone he sees very clearly then 
and uh, in atma only everything is there and atma in atma only everything is there all are in the atma only then tataha because of this uh, recognition knowledge na vijugupsate he never hate anything he never disregard anything he never look down upon anything for him everything is same that means he transcended all the dualities he never sees the good and bad no raga dvesha all these dualities will play a role when you we give importance or our mind give importance to the only duality not otherwise then same upanishad tells the other shloka yasmin sarvani bhutani atmaiva bhudvi janatah so in this manner whoever sees the atma in everything and everything in atma tatra to such a person in his mind kah mohah where is the question of delusion delusion means doubt doubt means hell okay doubt me uh, mohah means uh, fear okay so because of that what shokah so kah mohah kah shokah ekatvam anupashyatah in this way whoever sees oneness in everything for such a person where is the question of delusion illusion and the fear and shoka shoka moha bhaya yeah once for all good thing disappear so in this way in many places many upanishads also you can see this kind of thought the all this is shoka moha bhaya or uh, sense of differences when it will come see when it, in, uh, for example when we hate do we hate the blood or the fecal matter or the urine when they are in our body they are all there in the body now also when i am talking to you or when you are listening to me inside blood is there fecal matter is there malamutra everything are there but do you feel disgust do you hate them but the moment they come out either your blood and your fecal matter your urine you feel disgust to see or and uh, you know you hate it that means what as long as they are one with you you don't feel any difference as long as you see them different separate you feel the difference and you suffer so the sense of seeing the difference sense of the seeing the distance and duality is the cause for all the suffering not otherwise <clears throat> so in this way i already given the examples of the the gold when you see all the names and forms are not important when you see the water the waves or droplets are not important so in this manner this particular shloka very very important uh, given the statement and another way if you understand in this way <clears throat> the lord says in bhagavad gita then who is the friend to you who is the enemy if you don't understand no atmai vahyatmano bandhu you are the friend to yourself atmai vari puratmanah you are the enemy to yourself so never say or show the finger that uh, the enemies are there the friends are there you be as you are be yourself so the enemy you are the enemy to yourself and you are the friend to yourself so lift yourself by yourself never degrade yourself 
by yourself. So in this way, so many we can keep on uh, see in the Shastra. Now the next shloka, 26th. Tamam krodham lobham moham tektvatmanam pashyati soham atma gnana vihina mudaha te bachante narakani bhuda bhajago vindam bhajago vindam go vindam bhaja mudamate. Here, a little bit I will discuss today. Now, in a system of, a scheme of practice given here, uh, in two lines, he says, first two lines, now in order to see the oneness and recognize the the self, we have discussed so far the external things, stop seeing the differences of the friends and enemies and relatives and all that external. But much more that you need to do some other work inside also. So the inner cleaning is more important Then automatically the outer perception also will change. So for that sake, the inner enemies, which we are talking many times, the obstacles, generally we say Arishadvargams, six enemies. So enemies are not outside. You observe if these things are anybody hiding in your mind and they are uh, uh, showing their okay, head, then you remember they are the enemies. What? Instead of... Uh, six uh, here in the shloka, this author gives four: tamam, krodham, lobham, moham. Other two also you have to remember. Okay, tama, krodha, lobha, moha, mother and master. Yeah. So four are given. Kama means desire. Desire for anything. And uh, because of the desire, if it is not fulfilled, you will get angry, uh, you will become ang uh, uh, angry, anger will come. And if it is fulfilled, you will become more greedy, loba. See, these are all one connected to another. another. One is uh, overpowers and works on uh, interlinked, they are all. So, kamam is the first, desire kills you, my dear. Need kills you. You need something. But desire kills you. So that killing means what? It creates the, generate the anger. Then because of that, you will become so greedy person. And because of all that, you will get lost with the moha, delusion. So kamam, krodham, loham, moham, tektva. Unless you give up these in, uh, unless you destroy these inner enemies, unless you give up them, okay, give up them, uh, tektva, having given up, then only pashyati atmanam. Then only you can focus and recognize and realize your own essential nature. What? Saha aham, soham. Why it has to tell uh, only aham can be said, but soham. This soham word is called in the Shastra as the Dvipada Gayatri. Generally, Pranava Gayatri is uh, Omkara, monosyllable. And here two words, saha and aham, soham. Here, saha means the total Paramatma is nothing but here aham only. The total Paramatma who is appearing in the Samashti only, the same Paramatma Bhagavan is here functioning, expressing as the aham, aham. Aham, Rudaya Kuharamadhe, aham, aham iti. So, Pashyati, 
then only you will having given up those having have, have you destroyed those inner enemies only a peaceful mind a calm mind a introverted mind okay which can look think and see the things clearly as it is because there is a lot of viveka now uh, develop discrimination develop so with the discrimination and viveka you will able to pashyate soham if this knowledge is not there to anybody in this atma gnana vihinaha they are called moodaha they are the most unlucky foolish and um, fallen people in this world even after getting the human birth atma gnana vihinaha moodaha those who are not having this self knowledge and the, their essential nature they don't know but they say real they don't know their real bio data but they add and give the so much profile about them what is the use then you know there is no use but there is a lot of uh, loss what te pachante naraka nibhudaha they will keep on again again roasted cooked sand ah uh, uh, shuttled between two many many varieties of the hells that's why the hell word i started using from the beginning today class hell narakam what is this uh, naraka om nigudaha narakaha all the details and more explanation about this shloka we will discuss in the in our next satsang om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri gurubhyo namaha hari om hari om tat sat